The Indian Air Force has acquired fighter jets from various countries, with a notable contribution from Russia. This bolstered India's air power significantly, especially with the induction of Sukhoi fighters. These Sukhoi 30s were among the best fighters an Air Force could possess. However, as modern technologies like advanced missiles and radars emerged, the Sukhoi 30s faced significant challenges in countering them. Recognizing this, the Indian Air Force sought upgrades for its Sukhoi fleet to bring them up to a Super Sukhoi standard. Initially, these upgrades were in collaboration with Russia. However, due to India's sudden withdrawal from the Russian fifth-generation program, the progress on these upgrades came to a halt. Despite this setback, India decided to forge ahead with the upgrades independently. They had already developed a slew of crucial enhancements, including a superior cockpit and human-machine interface, stealth capabilities, advanced avionics, use of composite materials, advanced alloys, and modern manufacturing techniques, network-centric warfare capabilities, and advanced defensive systems for their aircraft. However what India was lacking were advanced engines and more sophisticated radars. Currently, the Indian Air Force has deferred the upgrade of the Su-30 MKI engines, possibly to control costs. Another possible factor is that the Russians are currently in the process of upgrading their own Su-30 SM fighter engines with the AL-41F engines. These engines are the same types used in Su-35 fighters. These engines offer a 16% increase in max thrust and double the service life without any increase in weight or dimensions compared to the AL-31 FP power plant on the Su-30 MKI. As for the real upgrades that the Indian Sukhois are receiving, the focus is on the radars, particularly the Utam ESA MK-3 radars. The Utam MK-3 is an advanced version building on the success of the MK-2. The Indian Air Force has been pleased with the performance of the Mark II variant, which boasts a 900 plus TR module. India's electronics and radar development establishment asserts that the Mark II surpasses contemporary radars in its class, even outperforming the Israeli ELTA-ESA radar. What sets the UTOM Mark III apart is its incorporation of gallium nitride technology. This technology provides higher power output, greater efficiency, and improved thermal properties compared to older technologies like gallium arsenide or silicon carbide. It's especially well suited for radar systems where high power and efficiency are paramount. The UTOM Mark III radar will undergo rigorous testing under the test bed named Virupaksh. Unlike its predecessor, the Mark III will feature a radar antenna capable of accommodating 1200 to 1400 plus TR modules, leading to a search range of over 270 kilometers. Furthermore, India is now gearing up for the prototype of its fifth generation fighter, the AMCA. All the necessary technologies have already been developed and engines are slated to come from the US for the AMCA MK1, marking a significant stride in India's defense capabilities.